This etching, entitled The Bathers, is from 1637. It's interesting because it's actually one of the earliest landscape subjects that I can think of, and this is a compositional scheme, almost as though it's a sketch, um, and then slightly more worked sculptural figures here. It's extraordinary how he just suggests the water by a few little tiny marks there, tiny thin line, just giving the sense of ripples on the water and where the figure is in the water itself, suggesting it, but absolutely minimal use. I always get that strong sense with Rembrandt of this amazing modernity, that he could do things without a degree of literalness. He didn't have to put everything in. He put a, enough in for us to fill in the rest, if you like, so that we're, we're imagining the water. Uh, like uh, Cezanne, for him, less is always more. Sometimes he can put in an awful lot as well, but um, in this case, it's, it's, it's taking everything out and seeing whether he can still create these sorts of effects, I think.